Hi, I'm Lise Colucci. I'm one of the life coaches at Queen Being. Recently, I recorded a video with a man called Paul Weinfield, and he gave a mindfulness meditation. In this video, there is a second meditation, which is for gratitude. So I'm going to keep this short and just um, take you straight to the meditation here. This is a about seven minute meditation for gratitude. Take care. Okay, so we're going to lead you through about a five-minute gratitude meditation, okay? So when you're ready, you can close your eyes, and you can just count maybe five deep in and out breaths. And as you breathe in and out, see if you can allow your awareness to fill up your whole body. Allow your body to be full of breath as though you were a balloon. Just breathing good energy in and out of the body. And then when you're ready, start to become aware of your heart. So not the physical organ of the heart, but some place in the center of your chest where you feel an emotional connection. Sometimes people like to put a hand on the heart just to locate the heart, or you can just have a felt sense of that part of your body. And you don't have to drop the breath. Obviously, you're not breathing air through your chest, but you can have the perception as you breathe in and out that the breath is coming in and out of your heart as energy. And just feel what's in the heart. So in a minute, we're going to start looking at our blessings. We all have so many blessings. And it's important to understand what a blessing is and also how you can work with it skillfully. So a blessing is anything that you're grateful for. If gratitude feels like too big a word, you can just think anything that you're glad for, anything that you're glad of. And when we put our mind on our blessings, one of the things we do is we develop this emotion of gratitude. You can develop gratitude. It's not something that you either have or don't. As you acknowledge your blessings, you'll feel naturally gratitude start to develop. And then finally, you may start to experience joy. And joy is something that you can't really force but it's the heart opening in response to your gratitude. So you might notice it as a warmth or a felt brightness in the heart. Whatever you feel is fine. So to begin with, we can have gratitude for the good people in our lives. You can start by maybe calling to mind a person who's helped you, someone who's been on your side, it doesn't have to be someone you're close to. Sometimes we don't feel safe around the people who are close to us, so don't pick such a person. It might just be a teacher or someone you know, someone who's helped you. Just acknowledge that that person has brightened your life. See if you can develop gratitude for that person. And you don't have to stop there. You can think of other people who have helped you. You might notice that as you focus on one person who has been there for you, you start to be more aware of others. And that's how it works. The more we focus on our blessings, the more blessings we uncover. You can even be grateful for people that you've never met. You can think, for example, of the people that worked to make your food or build the building you're in right now or make the clothes on your back. All these people 
whose labor, whose hard work enriches your life, sustains your life. You can be grateful for those people too, all the generations of men and women whose hard work and dedication allowed you to be born. And now I'd like you to switch from gratitude for other people to gratitude for yourself. Gratitude specifically for your own goodness. And you have a goodness. Whoever you are, however much you've developed your mind and your heart, you have a goodness. An easy way to get in touch with your goodness is to call to mind your generosity. Maybe call to mind one example of a way recently that you showed up for someone else. It doesn't have to have involved money. It could just be showing up for someone else with your time, your attention, your care, your knowledge, your forgiveness, whatever. Focus on your generosity. Acknowledge your generosity. And see if you can take joy in your generosity. You can work with other aspects of your goodness too. Your patience, your kindness, your wisdom, your sense of humor. You have a lot to give the world. So take joy in your goodness. So in a moment, I'm going to bring this formal meditation to an end. But gratitude is something that you can cultivate throughout the day. When you're riding a bus, taking a walk, washing the dishes, you can take a moment to recall some of your many blessings. You can do this several times a day. Wherever we are, there's an opportunity to develop joy in the goodness that is everywhere around and within us. It's always there. You just have to gather it. So when you're ready, you can take a few deep in and out breaths. And if any tension is gathered, you can breathe it away. And then at your own pace and in your own way, you can open your eyes, come back into the room. <laughs>